Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm showing you how to install the Windows Phone 7 theme on your iPhone 4. So real quick, go ahead and make sure you're running iOS 4.1, just like that right there, and make sure it's jailbroken. So alright, this theme was released a little while ago by Ganman, and it's just a lot of fun to use. The user interface is really nice, and if you haven't checked out my previous video, go ahead and check it out, because in that one I show you a little bit of what it's about. So alright, let's get started. So go ahead and open up Cydia. And once Cydia is done loading data, we're going to go ahead and choose Manage at the bottom right here. Alright, go ahead and hit Sources, hit Edit, and then hit Add. From here, we're going to add four different sources. These sources, I'm going to go ahead and post them in the description box to make it easier for you guys. So basically, the four sources are these four right here. These four have the programs that we need to get this theme up and running. And in this video, I'm going to show you the main programs that you need. Um, there's a lot of recommended applications, but I'm just going to show you the main ones. You can install the recommended ones later on if you want to. So alright, let's get started here. Go ahead and type in Winterboard for the first application. This one right here. The Winterboard application basically lets you customize the theme on your iPhone. iPhone and it works on any iPhone too. So this basically... Um, let you turn on themes, turn off themes, let you use your own wallpaper, etc. Um, if you don't want to keep the Windows Phone 7 theme, you can always use it to install other themes just like here. So like the BMW one or the Darth Vader one. But anyways, for this one, we're just going to go ahead and install it and use the Windows Phone 7 theme. So alright, go ahead and hit install at the top and then it's going to ask you to restart your springboard. So go ahead and do that and then once you're back, go ahead and open up City again. Come back to the search and we're going to go ahead and install the next program. The next program we need is called Gridlock. Gridlock basically lets us move the applications around into any position we want to. The Gridlock's a lot easier than using blanks because blanks are just a hassle. You need a lot of them in order to get the correct position. And Gridlock, you basically you're moving that one single application and it moves to the correct position. So I like Gridlock a lot better. So go ahead and hit install at the top and then hit confirm. And so it asks, asks you to restart your springboard, go ahead and restart it. Otherwise, just hit search at the top and we'll go ahead and install the next one. And for a lot of this, these applications, it might ask you to restart your springboard. Um, I don't remember which one specific, but if it does, just go ahead and restart it and come back to the studio. Alright, so the next one we're going to need is categories. This one right here. Categories is basically the folders application. and. It's a lot better than the native application, native folders app the application because um, this folders application allows you to put in a limitless amount of apps. It lets instead of limiting you to maybe 12 or 10 or whatever the native one is. So, anyways, go ahead and install it, and once that's done, just come back to Cydia, and we'll go ahead and download the next one. Next one we need is Iconoclasm. This one right here. Install it. Do the same thing. Next one, Infinity Board this one right here same thing install it and come back and then we need iFile down here I'm using the sinful iPhone repo one and then you need live clock this one right here and the last one you, you need is iAccess the iAccess one you need is iAccess for China um, and you want to make sure it's iOS 4.1 uh, that one, it should say something like that right here, the com.ixs.ixx.4x.cn. Alright, so once that's done, um, we're going to go ahead and open up um, Spring Jumps. There you go. Mine is, is in the app folder. So go ahead and basically look for that this icon right here, and we're going to go ahead and open it up. Okay, so from here, make sure that page titles is turned off and hit jump icons. From jump icons, make sure page 2 to 8 is turned off and only leave 0 and 1 on. So once that's done, go ahead and hit back and hit home. It should start making icons like this right here, page 0, and then my page 1 is on my home screen. Right there. So after that's done, go ahead and hit categories right here. Once categories opens up, go ahead and hit manage folders. And then what you want to do is hit edit and then add. 
from add you're gonna go ahead and type in apps for one folder and games for the second folder so it should look like this and then once that's done go ahead and um, hit the blue arrow on the side and come into the settings from the settings go ahead and turn title bar off show icon labels on background image on keep resident uh, off left right scale, scroll on rows for icon font color black and the theme is there's no theme for games you want to do the same thing except for icon theme you're going to put in wp7 games icon theme for this one you might not have since we haven't transferred the files over you're not going to have this so you can come back later and do that but for now just leave it as no theme and then once that's done go ahead and hit back again but do not close it come back into manage folders and then hit applications and then you want to hit add and then what's going to do is after it loads it, it's going to list all your applications on your phone. So just go ahead and transfer any apps except the following. You do not want to transfer the following apps onto the folder. So do not transfer over calculator, calendar, camera, clock, contacts, Cydia, Facebook, uh, Installus, iPod, iTunes, Mail, Maps, Messages, Notes, Phone, Photos, Safari, Settings, Stocks, Voice Memos, Weather, Winter Board, and YouTube. These are basically the apps that are going to make up your home screen. So I'll go ahead and list that also into the description box to make it easier for you guys. But basically, you do not want to transfer those applications over into the folders. So go ahead and um, just transfer any other apps besides those ones into this folder. And then do the same thing for games. Games, same thing. Just make sure that it's not any of the necessary applications. So once that's done, just go ahead and hit respring immediately. For you guys, um, it's going to respring it. For me, it's already done. So once you guys are back in the home screen, just go ahead and hit settings. And then we'll get out of here, get out of here. And then from here, just scroll down into iconoclasm. From here, what you want to do is make sure that the layout is system default 4x4. And then uh, turn uh, enable simple mode. And then for rows and columns, you want to make sure that rows is 8 and columns is 5. So columns is a lot easier if you just move it straight into the middle. Rows is a little harder, so you basically have to do a guess and check here. You would try, just try to get it as close as possible to 8. And then your padding has to be turned off. And then after that, you just want to make sure it's enable iconoclasm is on. And we'll go ahead and do that now. So it's going to go ahead and respring it just like this. And we'll wait a couple of seconds and wait till we're back in the home screen. Alright, so now that we're back, I'm going to go ahead and come back into our main screen here. Alright, so back in our main screen, uh, we're just going to go ahead and you're going to see something not similar to this. Your icons will be more bunched towards the top. Mines are still moving around because I already started setting up the home screen. But basically, they're going to be moving, they'll be up towards the top, so don't worry about it right now. Just go ahead and open up settings again. Alright, so back in settings, just go ahead and scroll down to Infinite Board. Infinite Board, you want to make the settings look exactly like this. Vertical scrolling, scrolling bounce enabled, scroll bar style is white, and then everything else is turned off. Also, vertical scrolling obviously has to be turned on. So once that's done, just go ahead and hit back, and then hit home. And now we are ready to um, set up the home screen. So what you want to do is take page one and put it right here. Messages should, should be next to it, and then phone you want to skip one row in the middle and then put phone on the opposite side. So it should look something like this so far. And then after that, what you want to go ahead and do is set up the um, applications to look exactly like how you see it here. So the next one we'll, we're going to add is... Photos. Go ahead and move this to the side. Go ahead and move this to the side. And go ahead and move this to the side. That's fine, just go ahead and let it go into the folder if it happens. Go ahead and move fo photos up right about there. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and move Safari and Mail over here. So Safari will go here, Mail will go here. Um, these are just unnecessary applications, so we'll just go ahead and put them on the next page. Don't worry, it just moves all the way to the down if it does that to you. Applications uh, will stay here, Contacts will stay here, YouTube will go on the next page. And basically, you're just going to keep doing this until you get the exact um, order to look exactly like how it should. For this, I'll also list the order on in the description to make it easier for you guys. So, once it's done, we'll go ahead and set it up.
Okay, so once you're done setting it up, it should look something like this. You have your phone, your messages, clock, calendar, photos, Safari, mail, apps, games, contacts, iPod, App Store, and voice memo. And the apps and games are the folders that you just created, so go ahead and put them exactly like how it is here. Like I said, I'll go ahead and put the order into the description box to make it easier for you guys. And make sure the Spring Jumps uh, page 1 is up there, and your page 0 should be right there. And then for this page, you just want to list it exactly like how it is, and you want it to overlap the app before it, so the name is hidden. So once you're done with this, we're going to go ahead and go onto the computer to transfer the files over. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now back on our computer, go ahead and download these files. First one we're going to need is Ganman's WP7 theme version 3.zip. This file, I'll go ahead and let, uh, post a link into the description box, and the other one we're going to need is iPhone Box. iPhone Box basically allows us to get into the uh, phone and be able to transfer files over without needing uh, open SSH. So once those files are done, go ahead and go to wherever the Ganman.zip is saved, and go ahead and extract it from here. And once you've extracted it, go ahead and open up the folder for it. Once you've opened up the folder, go ahead and open up iFunbox. When you open up iFunbox, you, you should see something like this. And it comes into a message like this. So go ahead and open up raw file system, and then system, library, and then you want to open up core services, and then springboard. Once you open up springboard, you're going to scroll down until you see SB Doc right over here. There's about eight files that you have to change. So for all of these files, you're just going to go ahead and add a one like that right there. As you can see right there, just a one. Add them to all of these ones right here. Once you've done that, go ahead and go back to the main raw file system. And once you're back in raw file system, go ahead and open up library and then hit themes. And once you're in themes, go ahead and open up that other folder, the Ganman's WP7 theme version 3. And transfer all these files over from WP7-Blue to WP7-Theme uh, except do not transfer over WP7-Theme Extras or the font so transfer over everything else and once you've done that we are now ready to get onto our phone so go ahead and just hit device safe removal and let's go to our phone now okay so once back in our home screen we still need to get rid of the dock so go ahead and slide over to categories and open that up once in categories, go ahead and uh, hit respring immediately. I've already done that and I've got it in my dock, so go ahead and do that. And then once you're back, just go ahead and open up winterboard. Once winterboard is open, make sure that summer board mode is on and select themes. Now what you want to go ahead and do is make sure that the order is exactly like how you see it here. WP7 theme should be all the way at the bottom and the colors on top. So now once you've set the order, and just to let you know, to change the order is just like that. Hold the side. Um, just go ahead and turn on WP7 Games icons, WP7 iAccess Keyboard, Windows Lock, choose whichever live, color, live clock color you want, and choose whichever theme color you want, and then turn on WP7 Theme. And hit Back, and hit Respring. And we'll go ahead and give it a couple of seconds here, so it resprings, and we'll check it out after. Alright, so it's coming back, looks looking good, there's the Windows logo, and we have our lock screen. So, looks like the theme is working, all we need to do is just check out the inside now. Go ahead and slide to unlock. And we'll slide over, and there you go. The full theme is working, as you can see, live tiles, the three instead of a badge. Um, yep, everything looks good to go. Even the buttons are working up here. For me, it's going to jump to here because I installed lock info. For you guys, it's going to jump straight back to here. Um, this arrow is not going to work for me, but for you guys, it will. Um, unless if you have uh, live lock info installed. And as you can see right there, live clock. As you can see, the seconds are moving. And there you go. Yep, that's all good to go. So if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and um, comment below. And I'll try to answer it as quick as possible and best as possible. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any requests, go ahead and post them and I'll try my best to make a video for you guys. Alright, so peace out guys.